All right, so hello everyone. I'm Bu Pengyang, and today I'm going to talk about how to construct a public key with Marco PRF. This is based on joint work with Zhuxia Yu Ma Hao and Willy Susilo. So a watermarking scheme can embed some information into a digital object without changing it too much. And it will be hard to remove the embedded information without destroying the watermark object. In this talk, we consider watermarking schemes for programs, that is, the watermarked object is a program. Formally, it consists of three algorithms, namely the key generation algorithm, which produces a pair of marking and a tracing key. The marking algorithm, which embeds a message into a program with a marking key, and the correction algorithm, which embeds the uh, which extracts the message and binds the new watermark circuit with an extraction key. Its correctness requires that the watermarked circuit should roughly preserve the functionality of the original program, and that the extraction algorithm can extract the correct message and bind it in a yeah, honestly, watermarked circuit. Its main security requirement is on removability, which requires that it will be computationally difficult for an adversary to remove or modify the message embedded in watermarked circuit without changing it too much. So, one may hope to have watermark schemes for general functionalities. However, as shown by Kohei and in 2016, it is impossible to watermark a learnable functionality. A natural class of non learnable functionalities are the cryptographic ones, such as the decryption algorithm, the PF evaluation algorithm, and so on. So, in the study, we mainly focus on watermarking schemes for cryptographic programs. And in this work, we also follow this and particularly focus on the evaluation algorithm of the PRF. So <clears throat> next, we give a more formal definition of the security of the watermarking scheme for PRF. There are two parties involved in the security definition, a challenger and an adversary. The challenger will first generate a pair of mark key and a tracing key, and it also samples a PRF key. Then the adversary uh, sends a message to the challenger, and the challenger will embed the message into the PRF key with the mark key. Uh, it then sends the results security sysdar to the other three, and the other three will create a security C tilde, and it wins if C tilde is close to the original watermarked security sysdar, and the tracing algorithm fails to attract the original message from C tilde. In this definition, we do not allow the other three to learn either the marking key or the tracing key. So we denote it as secret key secret here. We can also consider a strong adversary that can learn the mark key of the watermark scheme, and this is called permanent marking security. Alternatively, we can consider an adversary that learns the tracing key but not the mark key, and this is denoted as public public tracing security. And finally, we can consider public key security where the adversary learns both the mark key and the tracing key. So in real-world applications, if we use a watermarking scheme with the first three security guarantees, we will have to set up a watermarking authority to hold either the marking key or the tracing key or both. Such authority is usually a single point of failure because if an adversary corrupts the watermarking authority, and gets the key hold there, then it is able to remove all messages embedded in all watermark secured. This is a serious security threat to the scheme. And if we use a watermark scheme with public security, then we do not need such authority and the problem can be resolved. So in practice, it, it is preferable to use a watermarking scheme with public key security. Unfortunately, also we have very elegant constructions of watermarking schemes that satisfy the first three security requirements. We do not know how to construct a public key watermarkable PRF. 
The goal of this work is therefore to construct the publicly watermarked PIF. Okay. So next we will see how to construct a publicly watermarked PIF. Our standpoint is a watermarked PIF with public tracing and secret marking. In this game, there is a, in this game, the PRFK key, key, uh, key should be kept private. And to embed a message into the PRFK, the marking algorithm will use a secret marking. And to extract a message from a watermark secret, the correction algorithm will use a public correction key. So with this game, uh, to construct a public key watermark PIF, our initial idea is to generate a fresh mark key and a tracing key for each PRF key. That is, the new PRF key, capital K now includes the original PRF key K, a fresh mark key, and a fresh tracing key. In this way, the, there is no global mark key that should be kept private, so the scheme should have public key security. After this modification, the marking algorithm can still work because it can use the marker key included in the PRFK. But the correction algorithm doesn't work now because it needs, the, to, needs to use the correction key. But the correction key is included in the PRFK and can't be accessed by the correction algorithm. To solve this problem, we need a mechanism to send the EK to the correction algorithm. It seems that the only way to do this is to put EK to the PRF output. And of course, we can't append it to the PRF output directly because it may ruin the suitableness of the PRF. We solve this problem by using a PD scheme with pseudonym self text. So let PK and SK be the public key and secure key pair of the PK scheme and put them into the public parameter of the automatic scheme. We also modify the PF evaluation algorithm and append an encryption of the accretion K to the original PF output. Here, the randomness for the encryption is determined by the input X. To watermark a PFK, the marking algorithm also um, and bind the message into the first part of the PRF evaluation algorithm. And then it keeps the second part of the evaluation unchanged. And to extract a message from the watermarked circuit, the extraction algorithm will first uh, get EK from the second part of the circular port by decrypting it. And then it uses, uh, it uses the Recover the extraction key to extract the message from the first part of the circuit. So, as the adversary is only allowed to modify the watermark circuit on the spot version of inputs, uh, the extraction algorithm are likely to get the extra uh, correct extraction key by decreasing the secure output on a random input. And then, by the security of the underlying publicly tractable watermark PRF, the tracing algorithm can finally get the correct message. So, the security follows. Also, we need to examine if the scheme has a pseudonymous. At first glance, the answer should be yes, because the PRF output now includes two parts. The first part is a the output of another PRF, and the second part is the subtext of a PK scheme with a pseudorandom subtext. However, the subtext pseudorandomness only holds against an adversary without a secret key. And now, as the secret key is put into the public parameter, the adversary can learn it, and then it can decrease the second part of the PRF outputs and see if they are all decrypted to a same volume. So it is very easy to distinguish it from, uh, from the outputs of a random function. To solve this problem, we use a robust, unobfuscatable PRF instead of the PK scheme. In a nutshell, the 
robust or obsessed for PRF is PRF family, where the PRFK is associated with the screen S. It certainly still requires that, given only Oracle access to the PRF evaluation algorithm, no one could distinguish it from a random function. But it now additionally requires that it is easy to get a secret S embedded in the PRFK, given a secure that implants the uh, PRF evaluation algorithm. And based on this, we also need it to have robust vulnerability which requires that the secret can be recovered from a secret that is close to the PRF evaluation algorithm. Okay, so now with a robust, unobfuscable PRF, we modify the construction as follows. First, we will include the PRFK of the underlying robust, unobfuscable PRF into the PRFK of the constructed watermarking scheme. And the security embedded there is the, the creation key uh, for the PRFK. We also uh, replace the subtext in the PRF output uh, with the output of the unobtractable PRF. The marketing algorithm still works as before, that is, it embeds the message into the first part of the PRF evaluation algorithm and remains a second part unchanged. And the creation algorithm now gets EK from the second part of the, secure, the given circuit, and then it uses the, uh, the recovered EK to <coughs> get the to to track the message from the first part of the circuit. Uh, this works because uh, due to the vulnerability of the um, of Facebook PRF. The treasure algorithm can get the correct EK from the second part. Also, the robust vulnerability further guarantees that the correction algorithm can get the correct EK from the second part of the watermark circuit, even if it is modified by the door 3. And then, by security of the underlying publicly tradable watermark PIF, the correction algorithm can get the correct message from a watermark circuit that has been changed by the adversary slightly. So the security follows now. Also, the thoroughness of the new construction comes from the thoroughness of the publicly tradable watermark PRF and that of the robust unobtuscable PRF. And also the thoroughness holds. So we I will show you how to construct a public key watermark group PIF from a watermark group PIF with public tracing and a robust unobtuscable PIF. The first building block can be constructed from indistinguibility of execution as shown by Kohei et al. in 2016. And in this work, we give constructions of robust unobtuscable PIFs from either one function or FHE with different trade-offs in their parameters. Okay. So before continuing our discussion, we recall our first uh, attempt again. The attempt fails because uh, the attraction algorithm can't get the attraction key to perform the attraction procedure. So we note that this uh, uh, if we consider a weak notion of watermarking, where the tracing algorithm is allowed to use a hint about the PFK, then this problem can be solved very easy by setting the hint to be the tracing key. So we call this a hinting watermark of PRF. And by using this new notion, we can divide our construction just mentioned into two parts. In the first part, we get a public hinting with micro PIF from a micro PIF with public tracing. And in the second part, we upgrade the public hinting with micro PIF to be a standard public key with micro PIF using a robust or obfuscatable PIF. Okay, so next we will see how to get public key with micro PIF from simpler assumptions. 
Um, thanks to our general framework, uh, it is sufficient to show how to construct public thinking watermark PIF from simpler assumptions. So the construction uh, is built on a punctual PIF. Uh, roughly speaking, a punctual PIF allows one to punctual a PIF K on an input X star. The punctual K functions identically as the original K on all other inputs. And it will hide the real output, a uh, real up PF output on the punctured point X star. So now with a uh, punctured PIF, we construct the public hinting watermark PIF as follows. The new PFK, capital K, includes the PFK of the punctual PIF and a random input X star. We also compute the PF output Y star of X star and compute this star as G of Y star, where G is an injective one way function. The hint is uh, the hint then includes X star and this star. To what mark a uh, PF evaluation algorithm, the marking algorithm just uh, punctures the PFK on X star, and the circuit will evaluate with the uh, punctured K. Also, to test if the uh, if the circuit is work marked, the correction algorithm will test if the circuit is punctured on X star. That is, if the circuit uh, if the circuit evaluates. Uh, that is, if uh, CX star is not equal to Y star. Since G is an injective fu function, it is equivalent to test if G, C, G of C of X star is not equal to this star. This can be finished by using only the information from the hint and the given, uh, and the given circuit. So also the security of the Injective one function and the security of the punctual PIF guarantees that the dosage is not able to learn Y star from the current and the watermark circuit. So it is not able to generate a circuit that outputs Y star on input X star. And thus, uh, it can't uh, make a watermark circuit unmarked, and the security follows. Okay, so by putting the above construction into our blueprint, we get a public key with macro PIF from either one function or one way function plus FHE uh, with different trade offs in the parameters. The construction has a restriction that it only supports mark binding, that is, the circuit is either marked or unmarked. And Unlike the construction from RO, which has message binding, mm, we also give a construction of message binding public key watermark PRF from uh, purely from standard latest assumptions uh, by using a bounded FE scheme. Please uh, see our full paper for the construction. Mm, okay, so to conclude. In this work, we give a general framework, general framework that constructs public key watermark PIF from a public thinking watermark PIF and a robust unobfuscable PIF. We also instantiate a boost primitive from different assumptions with different trade offs. The main trade offs we considered in this work uh, include whether the scheme uh, supports message binding. And the, how large the parameter m snow is. The parameter m snow denotes the version of inputs of C star that can be modified by the adversary. And if you observe our results, you will see if you hope to have to, to have message binding, and if you don't uh, want to use RO then you will have a very, very small epsilon, which is 
uh, uh, concrete exponentially small volume. Also, if you hope to have constant external, then you have to use FGE, even if you have you have used uh, RO. And finally, now all our constructions can achieve the optimal uh, external, which is roughly one over two. So it is an interesting open problem to construct public key watermark PIFs without the restrictions. So now to conclude, uh, in this work, we initiate the study of public key watermark PRF. And that is just a start. There are many, many interesting open problems in this area. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for your attention, and I'm happy to answer your questions.